Hi, it's Prime here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. Um, we're going to talk about furlough and what it means if you've been furloughed and getting a mortgage, really. Um, I've got a number of clients right now, as we speak, that have been become furloughed by their companies and they're in the middle of a mortgage application, whether that's a residential mortgage or a buy-to-let mortgage. I'm going to run through what it means, how often lenders are treating furlough clients, um, and, and really other things around affordability during this period. Um, so let's get down to it. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go through what furlough is, but basically it's the government's going to give you 80% of your salary um, with almost a promise from the employers not making you redundant. Um, so it's, it's a good government scheme uh, they've come up with to try to help everybody. Um, but of course, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're, your job's under threat. It just means a lot of the companies at the moment are taking advantage of this to keep uh, cash flows going. So, um, and the lenders understand that and generally everybody knows that it's a short term mechanism. But what happens when you've been furloughed during the application? So let's talk about the during the application and then we'll talk about new applications. So. We'll go through, let's just assume your mortgage application has been going through, everything's been going hunk and dory, and now uh, you've been made furlough. So the first thing you should do is really, whether you're going for a broker or, or, or you're going direct, you let your lender know. That's really important because that's, a, that's called what they call a material change. And you need to let them know that this has happened. Um, it's likely, now, lenders are all coming out with criteria. They're not the fastest to come out with criteria all the time around things like this. But uh, we have seen a number of high sort of uh, high street lenders now come out with specific criteria around furlough uh, uh, clients. Generally, what, what it means is they're taking 80% of the income. So uh, up until two and a half thousand pounds, or, um, they'll, they'll honor. So if you're, say, for example, getting paid, I don't know, a thousand pounds a month, they will uh, they will give you from an affordability perspective. They will use eighty percent of that, so eight hundred pounds a month. Um, so you're losing out. If affordability if affordability was tight, then you're going to lose out on that twenty percent. Even though if your employer has decided to top that up to hundred percent, so essentially your income hasn't changed. However, from a government's perspective, they will say, look. We're only going to take, uh, sorry, the, the lender's perspective, they're only going to take 80% of it. So that's important. So um, a lot of the lenders are abiding by it. A lot of the lenders are not declining applications. You've got to disclose it to them and they would generally take 80% of it, just like the government, up to two and a half thousand pounds salary a month. So that's one thing. Second thing that's changed uh, with all of this stuff is around additional income. And that's commission, bonus, or anything like that, a lot of the lenders are not honoring it. So basically, a lot of lenders are not taking that in ca uh, they're not taking it into account for affordability purposes. So, and that's quite big, because if you are a, let's take an example, a recruitment consultant, that's a big one, I do a lot of recruitment consultants. If you're a recruitment consultant, general, or an estate agent, or anything to do with a sales, car salesperson, anything to do with sales, you normally got a, sh a small basic, and then the rest of it's all commission. Even though, that you might be receiving this quite a lot. Um, a lot of them are staying away from commission and additional income until things stabilize. So that's really important. That's one of the changes that's come about in the last week or two um, since lenders have sort of got to grips with what to do with criteria. So that's all to do with applications that's gone in. Okay, so uh, applications that's gone in already, you need to let the lender know. Uh, you need to, they will often ask for a letter from the employer uh, confirming the conditions of your furlough. Um, you know, generally they want that on a letterhead, so that's important. Uh, you need to provide that. So if you've done that directly or by broker, you need to, you need to go down that process. If you're going for a new application, um, generally we'll have to rerun the affordability calculator. You might have thought that you could borrow X amount. You either hold off until you know what's happening or we can, if, if, if it still works based on 80% or maybe there's a joint application and the second person's uh, you know, income has not changed, then that's absolutely fine. We can go ahead with that. We've got a number of lenders now that will, uh, you know, they've got clear criteria around this. Okay, so that's that. If you've got a buy to let application going through, um, it really comes down to, I mean, we've got, we've got lenders that don't have a minimum income, a number of lenders, probably about 10, 11 lenders that don't have a minimum income. So, you know, most of the high street lenders, they've got a 25,000 pounds minimum income. So uh, there's really two rules. If your 80% is above 25,000, generally I think you should be okay. If it's not, 
then that's fine. We've got a number of lenders, and that you know it doesn't necessarily mean that they've got worse rates. Um, they've just got a criteria that they don't have a minimum income, um, and we can go with those lenders if it falls below the twenty twenty five thousand pounds threshold that a lot of the high streetish buy to let lenders have. Um, however, the buy to let sector is in turmoil at the moment with a lot of lenders withdrawing product ranges uh, entirely from the market or some certain products, certainly down the loan to value marks. Um, so that's really around the buy to let. What I will say in general is on a residential mortgage right now, if you want to do a residential mortgage or remortgage right now, um, the loan to values are generally at 80% if you want to get a desktop valuation, which means they're not sending out surveyors to your homes. Uh, anything above that, they will put on hold until the surveyors can actually go and visit the houses. Um, on buy to let, um, generally not changed too much. You've, you've seen lenders pull out of the 80% loan to value and more spe spe specific sort of HMOs and multi lets and short lets, all of that stuff is very hard to do. Uh, but if you're looking for a normal, I would say 75% normal buy to let mortgage, there are a number of lenders that are doing desktop valuations and we're, we're, we're being very successful at that right now. Obviously landlords, they need to remortgage and you know they've got several properties generally, so they need cash flow, mortgages, mortgages, remortgages coming up, product transfers. So we're still carrying on doing that. It's really around loan to value. So I hope you found this useful. If you have been furloughed, um, we are doing a number of mortgages right now for clients that have been furloughed. So we're we, we've got to the grips with all the criteria and we, we, we're in direct contact with the lenders too and we find out criteria almost on an everyday basis so it's worth giving us a call i hope you found this useful please do like and subscribe this uh, videos and subscribe to the channel it does really help us as well but if you do like the the content of this channel it helps us with the google and, and youtube rankings appreciate it take care and stay safe the content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker before applying. Niche Advice Limited is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.